Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will continue working on the sign up scene. Similar to the welcome screen, each UI element will have its customization method. Let's go quickly and create these methods. To see the big picture, we'll call all the methods right here in the setup UI method before customizing it. And again, all customizations will be placed on the extension. Okay. Let's delete unnecessary stuff, then make an extension for the sign up. Extensions is used to add new functionality to an existing class. By using extension, we can add computed instance properties, define instance methods, and type methods, make an existing type conform to a protocol, and so on. Sign up header in sign up and create a new account header in the welcome, and we'll have the same style. So let's copy over the one from welcome scene or view controller UI file, then update the title. The header only has a single line. So we're going to delete subtitle and its attributes. Very good. Next, we want to make a UI image view circular. We'll go down to the layer level. Let's access its layers using the layer property of the avatar variable. Because the width and height of the avatar is 80 point. So we use half of that for the corner radius to make a circle of 80 point diameter. And we set the clips to bound property of the image view to true to tell the system that this view should be confined to its underlying CA layer. When it's rendered, anything outside the backing CA layer will be discarded. And next we will be working on the full name text field. Its, uh, its container has a border. To make it like the design, let's set width of border to one point and change the border color to a gray color. Okay, we need to convert UI color to CG color because the type of border color is CG color. Okay, let's run the app and see. The container of full name text field now has a gray border. All right, we also want to set the corner radius for it. By setting the radius to a value greater than zero, it causes the layer to begin drawing rounded corners. All right, very good. Because the container included a border, so we don't need the border of the full name text field. So simply call border style property on the full name text field, then assign none style for it. Okay, we need now to customize the full name text field like adding a placeholder, change text color, and so on. Notice that we also can use attributed string for the placeholder of text field. So let's go ahead and create an attributed string variable. The placeholder is gonna be the full name string. We want to make it a gray color, but let's try with another color like brown to see how it works. Very good. So now let's change the color to gray. Fantastic. Let's type something. If the keyboard doesn't appear on the screen, you can press Command K or go to hardware, then keyboard, click right here. When we type something in the text field, the text color is black by default. So let's change it to another. All right, let's go quickly and customize other text fields. Just do the same as the full name text field. So we're gonna copy from this and don't forget to change the variable name. Okay. Change the variable name and placeholder text for the password text field, then run the app. Looks great. However, for security reasons, in the password text field, we need to hide the text being entered. We can achieve this directly in Storyboard. Make sure you select the password text field. In the right-hand side, make sure secure text entry is checked. Okay, let's try to type something in the text box. Very good. We also need to change the keyboard type of email to the email address. Email address type optimizes for multiple email address entries. It you know, shows the space for the at sign prominently. All right, next we're gonna continue working on the sign up button. It's very similar to the create a new account button on the welcome scene. So let's go ahead and mimic one from the welcome scene. As usual, change the name of variable and the title string. Let's see how it looks. Very good. Finally, we customize the sign-in button. You can see the sign-in button very similar to the terms label in the welcome scene. 
So let's copy over the one from welcome scene. The variable and string to be changed according to the sign and button just have a small difference. We now apply attributed string to a UI button. So we need to call set attributed title method on the sign and button to set the attributed text to it. Okay, press command R to run the app. Fantastic. See you in the next video where we will start customizing the sign in view.